I don't know, but it's scary. They're all pretty good. All right. So. Oh, the, the sleeves are down. Uh oh, he's giving him a game. He's giving him a game. Three, all right. So stop sandbagging, light. One, stop sandbagging. Go. By the way, can we talk about this song? This is probably like the hype of song on Pokemon Stadium. I don't want to learn hype songs because then I might stop listening to my headphones in front of me. Okay. Well, I mean, I already put you at give it a listen, but also give these guys a watch because Blue's Finals is underway. Light and Mars, Mute Ace and Mr. R getting right into it. Yeah, Already, it's a bloodbath. Yeah, like, I mean, we expect nothing less. You know, Light Mars, two the most explosive in the game. Mute Ace is rocking the peach, and Mr. R loves to go forward, given the choice. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, speaking of forward, he didn't let um, Light go forward anymore. He's like, here's the F-Tail to the face. Get out of here. All set up very well. And um, Ed Darting Fox, you know, he does have a very linear recovery. And if you have the choice, you can kind of go out there, call him out, and um, make him lose some stock, or at least take a lot of damage very early. That was so bold from Light. And he trusted Mars so much, he actually grabbed a mute ace. And even though Mr. R was there, he did the back throw anyway, knowing for sure that Mars was going to get the kill, even though he's going to take some damage from Mr. R. Absolute faith in your teammate, and absolute awareness coming through from Red Team. Now Mars off stage, missing his tether recovery, but New Days wasn't in a position to really punish him too much for that. Good DI in right there from Light. Good upbeat from Mr. R. And they, they did have the map separated for the moment, and now it's kind of separated again, but that's because Mars finally losing that first stock of his. I feel like it's just. Oh no! I was about to say something entirely different, but uh, that downbeat eliminated any sort of semblance of recovery that Mute Ace could have gotten right there. And I'm now Mars is out there doing it again. I'm, I'm convinced that if you are fighting Mars in doubles, you're, it's five stock versus six. There is one stock you do not get to play, and you and your teammate got to decide who's holding the L for the squad. Yeah. It's like, you know, maybe we got Johnny Stocks in, like, ultimate doubles. We got Mars Stocks. And they just kind of happen. Yeah. No, no, no one's fault. Not, not your fault. It's just going to happen. You just got to accept it. Mm -hmm. And that up he comes through. He does get punished for it. Another grab coming in into the up smash. Talk about pick up on pick up coming in from Light and Mars. And it was, it was just an even game. It was just an even game. It was. And I feel like Mr. R is using this time to kind of scratch his head. Maybe saying, oh my god, how did I end up in this situation? Two socks inside of Mars. One sock inside of Light. Light is starting to get high percent. So it's not impossible, but it's not probable by any stretch of imagination. Mr. R is hanging out on the ledge and not getting a lot of damage racked onto him. So he's playing the long game very well, but these two explosive players and characters, one opening was all it takes. Yeah. Making it back, he does for the moment, like giving him his space, but only only temporary. Oh, we tried to up it from below. I didn't even know that was an option, but I kind of respect it. I don't think it's an option, actually. <laughs> I think they're trying to figure out exactly how to beat that move, because Mr. R has found out I'm safe-ish on the leg ledge as long as I can get that up out there. Like that. Oh, Plasma Whip might be an option, though, to punish that. OK, everybody parries. Actually, I think that's just Mr. R pairing two moves. But as amazing as Mr. R did play that 2v1, he was just at such a stacked battle that coming back after that was returning mm, It was not even just an uphill battle, an uphill mountain battle. Yeah, like for sure. Um, but he still tried, and you always got to respect someone willing to, to try to go out for it, you know? Not wanting to throw it away just for fun. They're like, hey, I still got a chance. I'm going to try my best. Let's see what happens. Yep. It was the loser's final, so, you know, if there's anything you have left to make it a top two, put it on the table. You got to. And I feel like people do try harder, a bit harder in teams, because if you let yourself down singles, it's like, all right, maybe next time. But if you let yourself or your teammate down in doubles, that feels bad. It does. There's always a fun little salty thing where, like, the, the unofficial rule, and if your teammate messes up in doubles, you got to go and play singles, and you just keep fighting them over and over. It's like, you know you messed up, right? Yeah. And, you, like, if you were the one who messed up, you kind of have to let it happen. It's like, man, I know I messed up. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, but, you know, right now, Light and Mars, they're like, we're not looking to play each other after this. We're looking to take home the gold of 1-0 right now on Mute 8 versus Mr. R right back with Pokemon Stadium 1.
The 112 already for uh, Mutes. And I feel like they started to notice, oh no, I was gonna say they started to notice how slow Peach is and how difficult she, of a time she has to get out of some combos and strength to bully her more. But as I say that, they capitalize on another weakness in Krom, his recovery. Yeah, definitely leaves a, a, a lot to be desired. That is for sure. Oh, that forward air though, not missing much, just light. He got hit so fast. That was wild. A little bit of combo, a little bit of juggles coming in. Mr. R being edge guarded. New Ace was being juggled, but, you know, Mars won a little bit of the action. He came in. He, he let Mr. R off the hook to go help out Light. Oh, and it looks like Mars did find the answer to the Soaring Slash. Tries to go for a spike right there. I don't know if that would have worked, but he might have just been doing it just for positioning. And the positioning that he did get managed to take a stop away from New Ace. Yeah, some of their spacing is so immaculate that I almost want to say Team Attack is not on. <laughs> like, right? I'm just like, how did you just whip through him and hit that other guy? That was OD. And Mr. R, speaking of OD, it's like, Mars, get rid of that stock. You had it too long. Yeah, make sure you pay your taxes. Like, you know, get that one out of there because Uncle Sam will always get his. Oh, I, I, I like the, the adjustments that Light's actually making. This time when, when Mr. R was forced to be, he actually just left. He said, look, I know I cannot deal with this, so let me just leave and help out uh, Mars instead. Good bear. Back air out of shield by Mutes. And Mr. R going out there, and he got it. Huge pickup right there. Very important for Light. Don't challenge that move. Light does return fire, but you, you still lost your stock to practically nothing. Mr. R still won that battle. Yeah. Definitely winning the war of attrition. Playing the longer game, but the stock count's still very even. Until that. The up smash is like a heat seeking missile. Every time Light throws out the up smash, it just works. That's three in a row. All on point. And Mr. R, he's at 89. Four. He's at 103. We're rounding up at 104. Oh, he's grounded. Oh, Mr. R, a little late right there on the trigger. That would have been a big time pick up. Prom hits so hard. Mute Ace doing definitely what he can right now. What we got cooking, oh, we missed the punish. Very important for Yellow Squad. Very important for Red Team because Light picks that up at a moment's notice. Light has landed five up smashes in a row. None of them have landed. In a melee shine. shine. In a melee shine. Yeah. Oh my god, Light. Oh, it, okay, the sleeve. Okay. Yep. We see you. We see you. Uh, did, they, did they just roll them up now? I, if somewhere or did they just the roll back. them up mid game? <laughs> the, the wizard comes through and he's like, <laughs> he put a curse on them. As Light gets more involved in the game, the, the sleeves magically roll up. Yeah. You can just tell how involved he is, like, as the sleeves just slowly creep up. That'd be creepy. If you're just kind of watching Light, the sleeves just, like, start rolling up. Did you, did you hear what I heard? I Roy? heard Roy. The boy? I, I heard I heard Mr. R say, look, it's time for a new character. Bringing out the Roy instead of the Krom. Going to see what he can make um, happen this time around. And Roy does have a more consistent recovery. But the thing is, Mr. R has been doing such an amazing job using the Soaring Slash to um, get early stocks as well. So it's a little bit of a give, a little bit of a take. But for consistency's sake, I can see why he would pick Roy here. Yeah, I kind of do like it. Um, Roy does bring a little more kill power to the table. That side beat kills very, very early. And I think that's something they're slightly lacking, is finding those kill hits you know, early enough. Because Mars he has the spike, he has the up B, he has the side B. Fox has that up smash, that up smash. They're just a little bit too early, I think, for yellow team. But I think, you know, kind of seeing that, they're focusing a bit more on Mr. R, having a higher percent than Mutes at the moment. Uh, but I feel like, yeah, I was going to say, Light is around Death Trap. Next to Edgar should yeah. be liable to kill. And that was something you weren't seeing with Prom. We were seeing uh, Mr. R really try to force the kill, but not able to get it. And with Bright, he does it, but wow. Light, as always, it returns a favor. <laughs> Mars was so focused on Mute Ace that Mr. R literally just came down and hit him, and Mars did not move the entire time. Like, was his controller unplugged? Or was he just that fixated on the Peach recovery? He might have just been that fixated, because uh, starting Peach is kind of difficult. She has good float options, and she can hold on to her jump, and she her parents on the huge hitbox. It's kind of hard. I think he did some math. He's like, how do you go up with an umbrella and float down slowly? I'm sure I tried it as a kid. It didn't work. Hey, just ask Larry Thomas. That's all I'm going <laughs> Right, but right now, you know, Yellow Team definitely has a lead. And if, you know, Mutates keep playing the way he's playing, it looks like Yellow Team might maintain it. And the counter comes in. And with Roy, the answer to your troubles. Maybe it's looking so. looking like it. 
Yeah, because that uh, counter definitely forced an untechable scenario. And uh, Light, even if he did have the tech timing, there's just nothing he could do there once he committed to the LP. But let's not forget, we, we haven't seen the Mars stock yet. You know, it's only a matter of time. There's going to be one. Always one. I feel like if he lands right now, it's going to happen. We landed in Roy. Trying to come back. Mr. R still at the ledge. And Mars trying to get the spike. Mr. R just recovering so well, though it did not happen. Ooh, Great save. That was, that was so important. That was huge. Like, yeah. that, that was a game-winning play right there. Because um, Mars definitely would have died to the double edge dance right there. It's one of the strongest side Bs in the game. It's, the knockback is very similar to the limit cross -lash. So consider that. He would have exploded. For sure. And right now, Mars at 128. Mars at nothing. This up here. And light is going to be rough. What do you got cooking right now? Yeah, Peach is almost a kill range. That's your best bet. But it does not look like uh, Mr. R is going to sit around and watch that. It might be one of those heat seeking up smashes that we saw so much um, in the previous game to take out Mute to stop immediately. But the grab, a follow up? No, great DI by Light, actually. There's a lot of angles that you can go after that down throw. Oh, that was so smart right there. Fainted as if he was going to go after Mute Ace. Instead, went after Mr. R and actually finished off Mr. R. But there's another stock. I didn't even realize it. What are you going to do? Try to get that back here. Not able to connect. Gets back on only for a moment. And Mute Ace is licking his chops right now. Where's the edge guard? Great tech. We're not done. Another tech? Okay. Light is holding on to stop for dear life. But that's we snatched away from him by the F tilt. Great coverage by Mr. R. Putting yellow team on the board. And uh, they were like, look. We're not getting 3 0s. We're let you know that much. Yeah. And with that, officially, there have been no 3 0s in this top eight so far. Or at least up until grand finals. Grand finals still remains to be seen, but so far, the playing field has been so close. Yes. So evenly matched, such high level play, so much octane. And uh, where are we going for the counter pick? Okay. I was like, are they really about to go to Jungle James? Is this Battlefield version? I'm confused. Yeah, please, Battlefield version. That's the stage. On its own. Uh, I mean, was it legal a little bit in Melee for, like, for doubles or something? I remember seeing it in some tournaments a very long time ago. There was a brief period, and then I actually talked to the Melee reps. I was like, guys, come on. Come on. Yeah. I mean, it definitely got taken away, but it was a different time back then. Now it we have was. Rainbow more Cruise. There was, there was, yeah, there was some stuff. Um, but that Roy is indeed going to stay here. The first time we saw Mr. R bring out Roy, actually. You know, last game, earlier when he lost, he never brought it out. And it, it did make a huge difference. It really did. I really think that kill power is something that they were lacking prior. Because, um, you know, Mutes can't do it himself. Prom actually has kill power, but it's just, it's not Roy's power. Let's, let's just be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's... They are Echo, so it's very comparable, but I think the biggest thing was just the recovery. It's nothing you know. like the real thing. Yeah. Nothing like the real thing, baby. The original is always where it's at, at least in this scenario. But Light's parry, this is like his fifth parry has only been about 30 seconds. <laughs> He's playing to parry right now. Yeah. And I'm liking the switch up. You know, Light is so good at, at hitting one person and then just immediately going to the other one. You're just not ready because you're thinking you got to help your teammate out, but really you need to help yourself out. Good little jab check coming in from Mr. R. No roll in. I really like that option. Mute Ace searching for an opening. And uh, there's an opening, but it was not for him. That's for sure. Oh my god, Roy's death scream. I can never get used to that. Sounds so pain. Someone help him. Light though. Again, his up smashes this entire set have been amazing. I don't know what uh, Yellow Team is doing to kind of set up for that. Maybe they're jumping a lot. I feel like up smash is very good against Peach specifically. She likes to float low to the ground. Yeah. And up smash just puts the brakes on all of that. It's probably one of the few characters with a, you know, his up smash does on um, the feet are intangible. Frame 8 also. So, one of the few characters that can just say, I don't care what button you hit, Peach. If you're in range, you get hit. Exactly. And getting hit. Actually, everyone is getting hit right now. Stocks are flying left, right, and center. Yellow team has a bit of a hill to climb. Red team still sitting very pretty. But just like that, Light gets 50% back onto him immediately. But always ready to fight from the back foot, Light is. And so is Mars. And so is Mr. R. Great save. Yeah. Did, was he actually able to hit him with the up air to save? He hit, he hit Mars with the sweet spot up air and hit his teammate with the sour spot. Okay. Wow. 
that. Okay, that's the one time I will say that is micro speed. Now, ooh, we're making him a believer, man. We're making him a believer. It took long. It took long. I still hate that word. Anyway, but Mr. Art is at 116, struggling to come back right now. And the 2v1 begins. Oh, K43. And that is great team awareness. That's something that a lot of people talk about is, or higher level teams, they're like, hey, when you hit someone off stage, 2v1 is teammate. You really limit his options that way. And that's what they did, and that's why Mutate's at 75% right now. Yeah, he took like 50 just from being um, his teammate being off stage for a couple seconds. Safe position is so important in doubles in that uh, regard. Now, I feel like the focus will be on Mutate from the red team because he is definitely the weak link in terms of percentage. He's just pretty light, and next big hit actually could do it. Got cooking next. You know, Mark's still staying alive right now, definitely edge guarded for a bit. That edge guard, or if you can recover, is so big, great. Air dodging to the platform that was going away, so he could refresh his resources. And Mute Ace is gone, potentially for the final time, because this is it. Light and Mars are on set point. This could be the end of the road, and the Mars shot coming through at the end. What a way to end it. <laughs> that That's how we're going to do it? We're really going to Twitch clip the victory? Okay, Mars, we see you. You out here. Yeah, out here. All the way out here, and Mr. R will be all the way